Okay, so I'm at Target. I'm trying to get soft, soft items for the bus. Today I'm going to be making the cushions for the bench area for us to sit on and be working on. So we've decided on just cushions on the bottom and then kind of throw pillows for the backings. And this is kind of what I'm planning on using and because fabric can cost a bunch of money. Um, I'm just gonna be using a nice mint light blue quilt. I'm gonna be sewing that as cushion covers. I'm just trying to find some accent throw pillows that could be pretty cool, a seat backs. Um, I'm thinking this, this is tan. Now I'm just like two of those big ones for the back. And then like, I don't know, like a pretty, I don't know. I'm gonna be living with a dude. Sage is not gonna be too stoked on like pretty, but I don't know, a little pretty something would be kind of cool. Um, okay, so I purchased a quilt from Target and I am going to create cushion covers. I'm essentially creating like a fitted sheet style cover just for ease of taking on and off and washing. I think this is gonna be the best option. <gasps> cushions that I had and we are we are using them and cutting them up to the dimensions of our bench seats. Um, I don't know what the proper way to do this is, but we're just using a kitchen knife to score this repeatedly till we get through. We don't have pieces quite big enough, so we are we are uh, cutting a couple pieces and, and using some spray adhesive to stick them together. My first cushion cover ever made out of a quilt. Um, the fitted sheet idea on this is great. I think it was probably the easiest of solutions, but I think in order to keep things from wanting to slip, we will probably end up using um, like mattress straps with clips underneath it just to keep it taut so that we don't have like peeling up happening but I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, the plan is to finish sewing the cushion Cushions. covers. You're doing a... I'm creating button straps because uh, the fitted sheet idea with such like a thick quilt material is pretty loose. So to tighten things up and prevent the covers from slipping off, that's the plan for me. And then I'll also be sewing some curtains for the bus, so it is a sewing day for me. I am just gonna go over to Crooked Finger Designs where the bus is currently be, being worked on. Gonna go chat with Ransom, gonna take some video, get, get to see what he's, he's done already and what he's still got to do. And uh, probably run a few errands in town while I'm there. Uh, I think that's all I got. And then I'm, I'm just doing other work stuff, editing some videos, organizing some some videos, that kind of thing. No, not for you. Some of this was just clean up. I hate having wires that hang out everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah, nice it definitely looks tidier. <laughs> tight on the wall. And they're not going to get caught by anything or anyone. Um, the other thing I noticed, uh, I the uh, multi-plus, the inverter. Yeah wasn't run through the smart shunt, so the battery meter wouldn't tell if you're getting power into that or out from that. It okay. wasn't being accounted for in the shunt. Got it. In the meter. So I rerouted the, the negative of that into the shunt, so. Cool.
I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. Thanks again for letting me come by, dude. Yeah, you got it. And thanks for doing all the, the good work and all the details and stuff. You got it. Back from Ransom Shop in uh, our shop now, and Kat's gonna show us the progress she got done while I was gone. This is what I've come up with. So these are just like the straps, and I still have yet to sew the buttons on and create button holes in here. But this is what's going to keep the sides from sort of like puffing up and being really loose on the couch cushions. And just keep everything nice and tidy and in place. But also allow us to remove them. Really easily. I hate cleaning, like removing cushion covers because it's always a fight and I break a sweat and it pisses me off. And they like try to put in, trying to put them back in, they like bend at the corners. It's and the worst. Stuff. So, I mean, that is why I wanted this solution. It might not be the best solution, but it's what we're going with. Are you going? Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is, <laughs> this is the finished product. Um, it's much more fitted now that I have created these straps in the back that are sewed on one end, button on the other, keep it nice and simple, and then when we're ready to take it off, unbutton, and it comes off really easy because of the fitted elastic in the back. So this is a blackout curtain, really cheap, just from Target, um, and I cut it to size so that it could cover and be just as long as the windows and not get in the way of like the back cushions. So this is one that in particular is going behind the bench seats in the bus where we'll probably be eating a lot of meals and doing a lot of work. And when it gets really sunny, we're gonna wanna close it. I actually eyeballed this uh, measurement here, not really thinking about how thick this curtain rod is and actually it fits perfectly. <laughs> actually really tight so when we squish it over it's not going anywhere what's going on right now we are picking up the bus hello hey what's up dude how are you good man how are you i'm all right so picking up picking up the bus now and uh we're just super uh, stoked with all the stuff that Ransom did. I mean, he really went above and beyond. He cleaned up the wires. He, he changed some fittings that, that wouldn't do well on bumpy roads and that kind of stuff. Like, really took things uh, way to the next level. And uh, that's pretty much what, what, uh, what he does. And, um, you know, you can come to expect that kind of service from him. So wanted to let him have a little bit, bit of air time to, to talk about what he did and um, also to just show that he, he's a great dude who just provided us with some next level service. So this is Ransom. When this bus came in, it had um, some electrical issues, some wire shorted and melted. Um, and we found out it was the uh, main run from the starter battery to the isolator. The big problem here was that the wire was run through a metal conduit. The metal conduit slid down the, down the wire and made contact with the positive terminal at the bottom shorted and um, heated the wire up like crazy. Melted a couple <laughs> of other wires, uh, melted a diesel line. Um, all in all, could have been a little, could have been pretty gnarly. So we pulled this out, pulled the cable out, and um, ran a new cable inside to a new isolator. Um, this one's a fully isolated system so the starter battery and the house battery don't share the same ground which means that all the starter battery stuff if it's in metal conduit like it is it doesn't it won't short out on the on the chassis on the metal of the bus anywhere so that gets you a safer system here um, the only place you have to worry about chassis ground is on the starter battery side and it's just one run end to end so we replaced that we cleaned up the wiring a little bit. We took out some of these, uh, some of these screw terminal lugs. I've seen these back out before on rough roads, so I pulled all those out and we replaced them with uh, good crimped connections for everything. Made sure that all the fuses were rated right, and um, went through some of the basic setup on all the Victron items. So we got a good, healthy running system now. 
you've got the screen inside the display that shows what the that shows the battery. That's, that's all working now. Yes, it cool. is. But if you download this Victron Connect app, it's Victron, Victron Connect. Connect. Okay. Victoria's Secret. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Victoria's Victron Secret. Connect. There we go. <laughs> Get. That's the one. All right. So when you open that up. Do it on my phone for now, but if you, if you just if you don't even hit enter a pin and just hit connect, it'll connect. Okay. It, you can change it to something secure if you want. It'll show you time remaining. So you got 10 days to run at this level. Well, oh, at that out. level, gotcha. Yeah, and I, I can't remember if I set it to 5% or 10, I think I set it to 5% safety on that time remaining. Okay. We do real quality electric work here. Um, solar, battery, electric work's about 50% of the work we do here at Crooked Finger Designs. Um, some of it's fresh van builds, a lot of it's cleanup of existing systems like this. Uh, but if you're in the Central Oregon and Bend area, look us up. Thank you again to Ransom at Creek Finger Designs. Uh, really grateful for the work that, that he did for us here. Um, we we would have had a pretty tough, pref, pretty tough time figuring that kind of stuff out ourselves. So very, very grateful for it. Next couple days are just going to be Kat and I moving in, uh, getting all our stuff in here and kind of doing a, a few finishing touches. We're leaving a lot of stuff for on the road because we really are on a timeline to getting on the road, trying to get started by Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Zeppelin Travels with Kat and Sage. In the next episode, Kat's dog Quirks has a medical emergency that forces us to leave earlier than anticipated. Watch along as we get caught in a snowstorm, visit a friend who also lives in a school bus, and spend some time on the Oregon coast. Thanks for watching.